They're the first people there on your worst day. For the car crashes, the shootings, the deadly fires, they're the first eyes to see some terrible things. You have vivid images of some truly awful things. Yes. Brent Jones has worked as a firefighter in EMT for 23 years. He says his least favorite question is when people ask the worst thing he's seen. A lot of times you, as a first responder, maybe not so much have nightmares, but you go to sleep and you see some of the scenes that you've been on. That sounds like a lot to live with every day. Jones contemplated taking his own life. I had a gun to my head three times. Instead, Jones asked for help, spending 44 days in inpatient therapy at a facility designed just for firefighters. I should have gone immediately, but I, I took an extra two weeks so that I could get my affairs in order so I didn't have to worry about things. PTSD and suicide have become such epidemics. Firefighters from across the state, including Brent, brought their concerns here to the state capitol in hopes law changes will allow more of their brothers and sisters to get help. There's so many first responders out there right now that aren't getting the help they need because they either can't afford it or they're afraid of what's going to happen. Right now, Wisconsin state law doesn't allow someone to receive payment under workers' compensation for post-traumatic stress disorder. If you've got a physical injury, you know, like falling through a floor, you could get PTSD from that. Jones and other first responders shared their stories with lawmakers in hopes they'll change the law to change the outcomes of cumulative stress on their job. But you can be happy again. I'm, I, I am one of the lucky ones. I got to go back to work. I got to come back to the job that I absolutely love. But the truth is, more firefighters die by suicide than they do in the line of duty. A study in 2017 found at least 103 firefighters died by suicide. That same year, 93 died doing their job. We're not supposed to be, you know, dying that way. Ladder two. To learn what firefighters go through, the I-team spent a day inside Milwaukee Fire Department Station 2. The calls we went out on were nothing life-threatening. Like I said, you have outlets. I mean, we have programs on the job. We have... <clears throat> But every time a call rings out, the fire department responds. From medical calls to fires, car crashes, and gas leaks. You can smell the gas in the oh, air. Yeah. yeah, that's why we're evacuating everybody out of these buildings. Can I get you to cross the street, please? You're right in the heart of our scene. It's not safe for you to be here. They certainly save lives. In between calls, they may save each other's lives. We confide in each other. We're, we're pretty open about it with each other. You know, if we're on a, on a tough call, it's, it's very easy to, you know, talk to the guy or the girl next to me and say, hey, you know, this is what we're dealing with. This is what we're going through. How do you feel about that certain run or that certain call that we went on? A simple conversation that could save the lives of the people who save lives. There's a way out of having to take your own life. There is happiness at the other end. Think about your friends and your family because they want you around. For the I-Team, Casey Geraldo, TMJ4 News.